Good day everyone! Again, this is Teacher Novi for our lesson in Mathematics 9, Solving Quadratic Equations Using the Quadratic Formula. For today's objective, solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. To solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula, these steps must be followed. Number one, write the equation into its standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. But if it is already written in standard form, then you can proceed to the next step. Step two, determine the values of the coefficients a, b, and c. Step three, substitute these values in the quadratic formula x is equals to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is our quadratic formula. And then for the fourth step, evaluate and simplify the result. And of course, for the last step, check the solutions obtained using the original equation. Ito na yung checking natin. Okay? So let's start with example number one. Find the solutions of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 3x equals to 27 using the quadratic formula. So, for our solution, step 1, we have to transform the equation into its standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Since hindi siya naka-standard form dito sa example number 1 natin, transform muna natin. Okay? So, mangyayari. C27, itatranspose natin sa left side ng equation. Okay? Kaya naging 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 equals to 0. The next step, determine the values of the coefficients a, b, and c. So, remember, ito yung uh, standard form natin. And then, dito makikita mo yung values ng a, b, and c. So, a is 2, b is 3, and C is negative 27. Okay, let's proceed to the next step. Substitute these values in the quadratic formula. So, yung quadratic formula natin, ayan, substitute lang natin yung value ng B, which is 3. Huwag mong kalimutan ilagay yung negative dyan kasi given yan. Okay, then plus minus square root of B again, which is 3 squared, minus 4 times A, A is 2, times C, which is negative 27. And then divided by 2A. A is 2. Okay? And then, fourth step, let's evaluate and simplify the result. So, mag-simplify na tayo. 3 squared, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng radical sign. So, 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Times negative 27, that is positive 200. 16. And then sa baba, 2 times 2 is of course 4. Simplify again. 9 plus 216 is 225. So the rest just copy. Then simplify. The square root of 225. So the square root of 225 is 15. So we arrived at this answer. Pero hindi dito nagtatapos yung sagot natin kasi hinahanap natin yung roots ng equation. Dalawa yan kasi nga meron kang nakikitang plus and minus sign dito. So, anong gagawin natin? Paghihiwalayin natin yan. So, unahin muna natin yung plus. So, mangyayari, x is equal to negative 3 plus 15 divided by 4. And then, sa kabila naman, x is equal to negative 3 minus 15 divided by 4. So, ito na yung ngayon yung plus and ito na yung minus. Okay, unahin natin ito. So, 3 plus 15, negative 3 plus 15 is positive 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So, the first value of x is equal to 3. So, for the next value, negative 3 minus 15, that is negative 18. And then, divided by 4, the answer is negative 9 over 2 or negative 9 halves. And for the checking, i-check natin kung tama ba yung mga na-obtain natin na roots ng equation natin. So, unahin natin si nag, uh, x equals to 3. So, ito yung original equation natin. Let's substitute. 
substitute 3 sa x. Okay? So, ayan, pinalitan natin ng 3 yung x, even here. Simplify. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Then, 2 times 9, that is 18. Plus 9 is equal to 27. Therefore, 3 is a solution of the quadratic equation. And then, 4x equals to negative 9 over 2. Substitute din natin sa original equation. Ayan. Okay, and then simplify. Negative 9 halves squared is equal to 81 over 4. And then, 3 times negative 9 over 2 is negative 27 over 2. Nag-cancel out lang tayo dito ng 2. Ay naging 2 dito sa denominator. And then, 81 over 2 minus 27 over 2, that is 54 over 2. And 54 divided by 2, if we are going to simplify that one, that is equal to 27. That is why negative 9 over 2 is also a root of the quadratic equation. Okay? For the next example, find the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. Again, using the quadratic formula. So, step 1 in the standard form. Since naka-standard form na yung quadratic equation natin, mag-proceed na tayo sa step 2. Okay, identify natin yung values ng a, b, and c. a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to Four. Third step, substitute the values sa quadratic formula natin. Okay? For b, that is 4. So, negative 4 plus minus the square root of b, which is 4, squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4, divided by 2a, a is 1. And then, simplify. Walahin natin ito, yung nasa loob ng radical sign. So, 4 times 4 is 16. And then, negative 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Times 4, that is negative 16. So, again, simplify. 16 minus 16, that is 0. And if we are going to get the square root of 0, syempre, 0 naman yan. Kaya ang mangyayari, ganyan na yan. Negative 4 plus minus 0 over 2. Wala namang mangyayari kapag mag add tayo at mag-subtract ng 0. The same naman yung um, answer. Kaya, negative 4 over 2 will do. Then, simplify negative 4 divided by 2. That is negative 2. Therefore, the root of the equation x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0 is negative so, let's check. Let's substitute the value of x sa original equation. So, negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 4 equals to 0. Simplify. That is 4. 4, minus, 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8, plus 4. And then, 4 minus 8, that is negative 4. Plus 4, that is 0. Correct yung sagot natin na negative 2. Nakuha? Okay. Very good. For our last example, solve 5x squared equals to 80. Using the quadratic formula pa rin. Pwede kaya yan? Okay, yes. Pwedeng pwede. For our solution... Transform muna natin siya into the standard form. 5x squared minus 80 is equal to 0. So, naka-standard form na yan. Missing nga lang ang kanyang middle term or the linear term. Next step, identify the values of a, b, and c. So, for a, that is equal to 5. b, wala tayong nakikita, kaya 0. And then c, that is negative 80. Next step, substitute sa quadratic formula. Ayan. Since 0 yung uh, b natin, 0 din yung ilalagay natin dyan. Then, plus minus, square root of 0 squared minus 4 times a, which is 5, times c, which is negative 80, divided by 2 times 5. 
Since 0 naman yan, kaya pwede na natin yung tanggalin. So, matitira plus minus square root of 0 squared is equal to 0. So, tanggalin na natin. Negative 4 times 5 times negative 80, that is equal to 1,600. And then, divided by 2 times 5, that is 10. Simplify the square root of 1,600 is equal to positive negative 40. Then, divided by 10. So, unahin natin si positive 40 divided by 10. Sunod natin si negative 40 divided by 10. So, the, for the first value of x, 40 divided by 10, that is equal to 4. And then, for the next value, negative 40 divided by 10 is equal to negative 4. For the checking, unahin natin yung positive 4. Substitute sa original equation. So, 5 times 4 squared is equal to 80. 4 times 4 is 16. And then, 5 times 16, that is 80. 80 is equal to 80. Kaya correct yung positive 4. For negative 4 naman, okay, substitute natin. Negative 4, 5 times negative 4 squared equals to 80. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 5 times 16, that is 80. 80 is equal to 80. Therefore, negative 4 is also a root of the equation. Nakuha? Okay, that's it for our lesson in solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Thank you sa pagkikinig and panonood. Stay home, stay safe, and God bless everyone. Bye!